Hey guys, so I know that um, I haven't made a video in a minute um, and there is a couple of reasons why. So for those of you that don't know, um, I did just have a baby and he's literally only two weeks old. This will be his third week he was born um, on November 6th. So, um, just to talk to you guys briefly, like, about my pregnancy, um, in the beginning, I was like, oh, I'm on vlog everything, and it just really did not go like that, um, so, um, I found out I was pregnant at about five weeks i had missed my period of course that's what most people find out so i found out like pretty much right away um i didn't have my first ultrasound until i was about 10 weeks so i felt like i had to take it took forever um to get to that point which i know y'all like oh 10 weeks that's nothing but basically um the reason why i felt that way is because like for those of you that don't know, um, back in like 2019, I had a miscarriage. So like, I was just very like anxious and ready to get past the six week point because I had had a miscarriage at six weeks um, back then. So once I got past the six weeks, I was like, okay, I gotta make it to 12 weeks. And I just feel like when you've had a miscarriage, you're just like super anxious or super like paranoid. Like you just want everything to be okay. You just want everything to go right. So like I did not vlog like me looking at a pregnancy test or like opening up a pregnancy test and taking it. I didn't vlog like, you know, the weeks leading up to it or whatever the case may be um to my first ultrasound um and then i did get some clips from my first ultrasound and i might throw them in here um just to share part of my pregnancy with you guys but even the ultrasound took like i was so surprised when i like seen heartbeat and he was in the right place and everything and she was like oh wow did you not expect the baby to be in there and i'm like in my mind i'm like no like but you know i couldn't share that with her it was just very personal um and you know um just moving forward past that like the months flew by um uh once i made it out my first trimester like in my second trimester i had ended up taking a trip to jamaica with my mom and I wanted to vlog then, but like, you know, I was just enjoying it and being there in the moment. Um, just really being like in uh, Jamaica and just enjoying like my last vacation before my baby came. And then my third trimester was um, something. I would say it was like typically like uncomfortable like I would have like night sweats I would have to get up to pee a bunch when I couldn't um when I couldn't go back to sleep I felt like I had like insomnia some nights because you get up to go to the bathroom and then you just really you really can't fall back asleep um overall um, my pregnancy was like pretty much like enjoyable. Um, I had a gender reveal like I wanted to. I didn't record that. That was very personal, very intimate. I only had like close family and friends there. Um, I had a beautiful baby shower. I did two maternity shoots, one with my mom, one with my fiance. But like basically the last time I talked to y'all, I had just got engaged. I think I had just got a puppy. Um, and I think that's where we left off, but like right after I got engaged, right after I got a puppy, I found out I was pregnant in March, and I was like, Wow, 
I'm getting everything I wanted and it's just boom, 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 back to back. Like, um, I do wish that I would have vlogged a little bit more, but at the same time, I feel like my um, pregnancy was been, like very intimate and very like, not low key because I was posting on social media, but like, I don't know. It was just like special to me and I kind I kind of like kept bits and pieces for me and my fiance to share between us. Um, aside from that, I had started school in August. Um, I went back to school to be a teacher. I, I'm doing a train uh, teacher training program um, at Tricoshi. So. Um, you guys know last year I went to school for aesthetics. This year um, I went back so that I could teach aesthetics. So hopefully, you know, everything goes well. And um, after my 12 weeks is up, I can go back to school and finish my program and be done with it by next August. Um, but yeah, I just been having a lot going on and, you know, there's so much that, um, I want to tell you guys, but I don't want to make this a super long video. Um, but I do want to share like, you know, some more personal things about my pregnancy, like a little later on along the lines. Um, maybe I'll share with you guys my labor and delivery story. So, um comment if you want to hear about that it was very it was something okay it was definitely something i'll tell you right now that i was definitely in labor for um uh, like two days like two three days um yes like my son took forever and then it wasn't even like my due date was november 16th and he came november 6th so i did get induced but like i said that's another story for another day and i can't wait to share that with you guys um but yeah i just wanted to come by and make a short video and let y'all know about why i haven't been posting and I'm ready to just dive back into everything, dive back into my YouTube, dive back into my business and just get some motion going um, so I can get to where I want to be and reach my goals. And I hope that you guys are ready. I know so many times I done said, I'm going to start making videos again. I'm going to start making videos again. I'm going to be more consistent. But this time, I really do want to start making videos again i really do want to be more consistent um and yeah right now i'm just sitting here um doing some things on my laptop and um the baby is over there sleeping and yes i can't wait to share my love with you guys share my life with you guys i can't wait to like i don't even know like i'm just so excited about this new journey that i'm going on being a mom it still don't feel real but i hope that you guys um tune in and stay along for the ride